When I was growing up, I used to lie if it was convenient. I didn't think too much about it. It didn't bother me too much unless I got caught lying. But over the last several years, I've been trying to tell the truth or at least not lie. Tell the truth or at least don't lie. It's very psychologically dangerous to say things you know not to be true. So, and, and, and in part it is because it warps that instinct for meaning. So in short, lying warps your being and negatively affects the way you think and act in the world. But I found that not lying is actually difficult and telling the truth is even more difficult. I completely disagree with what Simon Sinek says here. Like honesty is really easy, just tell the truth. I don't know what he's talking about. Telling the truth is really difficult depending on the situation. It is not easy at all. But then he goes on to say this. But honesty doesn't have to happen in the moment. So I went to see a friend of mine's play and it was easily the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And at the end of the performance, I hung around with the, you know, close friends and family in the, in the foyer and she eventually came out still in costume, still in makeup. After the thanks for coming, the first question was, what did you think? Now, I'm an honest person, but she's all jacked up on adrenaline. She's all jacked up on emotion. Now is not the time. But the problem is I can't lie. You know, we do it all, we lie all the time to protect other people's feelings. You know, you get given a gift, it's the ugliest sweater you've ever seen in your life. And they go, what do you think? You go, oh my God, I love it, thank you. You don't love it, right? So don't say you love it to protect them, right? But you don't have to be honest in the moment. So what I said was, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. It was so amazing to be here and watch you do your thing. I've never sat in the audience and seen you do your thing before. And it was so much joy to see you on stage. All of that was true. And that was it, done. The next day, when all the adrenaline had come down and there was no more emotion, I called her up and say, can I tell you what I thought of the play? She goes, yeah. And then I told her point by point why it sucked. But we had a, we had a rational conversation the next day. And I think we make this mistake all the time in our relationships, which is we think we have to be honest in the moment, but we don't read the room and understand that there's too much emotion involved to have a rational conversation. Somebody's mad at us and we're going, we, this is not the time for rational feedback. You meet emotion with emotion, you meet rational with rational. You can't mix the two. And sometimes we're rational, but they're emotional, which means we have to stand down, right? So what I've learned about honesty is we have to be honest, but we can actually delay you have to meet rational with rational and emotional with emotional. That was a really good takeaway. Meet emotion with emotion, rational with rational. Delay honesty when emotions are high. But that's easier said than done, dude. Let's say in the example of the ugly sweater and they ask, do you like it? My brain doesn't function that quickly. I'd be like, oh shit, what do I say? And in the heat of the moment, I'd be like, thank you for your thoughtfulness. And then inevitably they ask a follow-up question. What, you don't like it? And then I'd be like, fuck, I'm stuck in a corner. My likely response now is that I can't delay honesty anymore because I don't know how. So I'll probably become honest in the moment, meeting emotional with rational, which makes the other person feel really bad. This delayed honesty is really good in theory, but you have to be really good with words. Not lying is difficult as it is. Trying not to lie and delay honesty, that's a tall order. If you have to hold your tongue until they calm down, that's not too hard. But when they're asking you to be honest, shit dude, you gotta be a pro with words to delay honesty. This kind of stuff probably gets easier with practice, but the only times you can practice delayed honesty are in these uncomfortable situations which don't pop up all the time. So it's difficult to get practice in. Delayed honesty sounds like really good advice, but it's borderline unhelpful because of how difficult it is to execute. As someone trying to tell the truth or at least not lie, I'm just going to continue not knowing what to say in the heat of the moment and probably end up failing at delayed honesty. But I'll keep trying to meet emotional with emotional since rational won't work at that time. I guess there's no easy solution except to keep trying and failing and trying again.